Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to an excited Wrestling Days because we got a juicy Smackdown uh, with some great Bray Miz segments. We started Smackdown with The Fiend versus Daniel for the Universal Championship being the main event of TLC. We've ended Smackdown with Funhouse Bray versus The Miz in a non-title match being the main event of TLC. So, uh, yeah, we obviously need to talk about how that's happened. Uh, we need to talk about some of the theories as well. I'm going to drop a, a quick theory in at the very start. Um, there was a real vibe of family uh, during SmackDown. I'm just wondering if Bo Dallas is on the way. We've been talking a little bit about Bo Dallas because he is the real-life brother of Bray. And uh, there was hands that were shown on a DJ deck in the Funhouse last week that clearly weren't Bray's hands because they didn't have his tattoos. So it's interesting that there were human hands on the DJ deck that weren't Bray's. Um, also, we know that Bo Dallas has spoken in the past about reptile people. Uh, and of course, last week, there was a lot of talk about reptilians. Uh, Bo is the real life brother of Bray. And then this week, there's a real uh, family vibe. And I'm just wondering if we're going to see Bo Dallas getting involved at all. Uh, we haven't seen him in a long time. Um, so could it be he gets involved at TLC? Just a theory. Nothing more than that at this stage. Um, but yeah, really, really interesting SmackDown. Uh, Bray said that Fiend and Daniel Bryan have got, like, unfinished business. He said that The Fiend might not have finished with Daniel yet, and we wouldn't see either of them as a result tonight. Uh, so it might explain that Daniel is trapped somewhere and, and The Fiend is dealing with Daniel. That means that Funhouse Bray is kind of left to deal with The Miz, who was being a, I think he called him a Snoopy Snoopster. So that's why the match was changed. Uh, the match has been changed now from Fiend versus Daniel to Funhouse Bray versus The Miz. Uh, and then they brought in this family element. Uh, they did put Daniel's picture on the wall of friendship. That's noteworthy. Uh, we'd been waiting for that to happen. And then uh, Bray was talking about family and he was saying he used to have a family. And we saw Rowan, Harper and Daniel Bryan. We didn't see Braun, or at least I don't remember seeing Braun. Um, and then he said maybe it's time for a new family and produced a picture of Miz's family. I mean, this thing got really personal. Uh, it was really good. It, it was really dark. Uh, Rambling Rabbit would appear and tell Miz to run and get out of there, uh, as Rambling Rabbit does. Um, and it was good. It was a really good start. Miz would uh, basically phone Maurice and warn her, tell her that he's coming home. And then he would see like a room with a red light. He would go inside and then he would be attacked, attacked by Funhouse Bray. This is the first time we've seen Funhouse Bray out of the fun house. I think he did some promotional work on like some news channel. But I'm talking about like on WWE programming. This is the first time we've seen him um, outside of the fun house. It was a big moment. And then there was even a picture uh, of uh, Miz and his family. Uh, the same one we'd seen earlier. But instead of the Miz being in the picture, it had been replaced with Funhouse Bray. Uh, again, really dark. It was awesome. I was like freaking out with theories. My brain was going a million miles an hour during the commercial break. But then when we came back from the commercial break, um, it was Miz in the room on his own, no picture, with a ref who looked a little bit confused. The ref didn't seem to back up the fact that Bray had been in that room. So we we don't know. We don't know if Bray did really attack the Miz or if it was a vision or something along those lines. 
people are believing that it was an attack uh, and it could have been but equally they planted seeds that it might not have been so this is still open very interesting I'm not going to believe Funhouse Bray is having that match until I actually see it let's put it that way um, because anything could happen they could advertise that it's going to be Funhouse Bray but would you be surprised if a like comatose, beardless Daniel was to come walking down at TLC. And then we get like Daniel versus Miz. Like that could totally happen. Or it could be Bo. Bo could come walking down at TLC. Again, that very strong family vibe, you know. So really interesting. Uh, I thought we were going to get one more segment. We didn't. From uh, Miz and uh, Bray. We know Miz is now on his way back to his family. I would love it if there's a little clip on YouTube or .com that shows us what happens when he gets home. There's some great theories in our watch along that could you imagine if he gets home and the kids have got fiend masks on. Or Maurice is missing or Maurice has been replaced with Liv Morgan or people were going crazy with theories. Uh, it, it was brilliant. Uh, and there was a couple of theories that I loved here as well. Connor Shaw was saying, uh, what about if Funhouse Bray is the new face that uh, was being introduced? Because uh, now seemingly he's about to have his first match. So uh, maybe Funhouse Bray is the new face. Of course, it could still be Daniel, a beardless Daniel. Uh, but that was just a good little thought. Uh, the other thing as well, that potentially is going to be no red light uh, at TLC. Because if it is Funhouse Bray, um, then he won't need the red light. Uh, and uh, Trey Jackson uh, said, it could be Funhouse Bray that has the match. Because Fiend could be trapped in the Funhouse. It could be that uh, Fiend can have matches because Funhouse Bray was trapped in the Funhouse. But Funhouse Bray can have a match as long as the Fiend is trapped in the Funhouse. Like someone has always got to be in the Funhouse. Um, and I kind of like that because what if the Funhouse is still a mental thing? So you can be Funhouse Bray, but you've got to bury the Fiend, lock it away in your mind. You've got to lock him into the Funhouse. Equally, if you are the Fiend, you've got to lock Funhouse Bray away in your mind. I really like that. I, th I think that, that kind of helps explain how they can switch between the two. Plus, it's just really cool, isn't it? Two entrances, two different move sets, two different personas. It's kind of going back to the three faces of Foley. There's people saying you could have Funhouse Bray, Muscle Man Dance Bray, and The Fiend. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? So uh, I, I, I really do hope they do explore that. But there's a lot of theories out there. There's a lot of talk at the moment. I need to get my head properly around it all. But this is just like my initial thoughts in a video. But I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.